Picture a time when you were first introduced to the enigmatic world of cinema, when the silver screen held the power to transport you to distant realms and immerse you in captivating stories. It was amidst this enchantment that you might recall your earliest recognition of the legendary Nina Falk, a name that resonates with timeless elegance and profound talent. Perhaps it was the subtle grace she brought to her roles or the magnetic presence that left an indelible mark on your cinematic journey. Nina Falk, a luminary of the silver screen, was more than just an actress. She was a trailblazer, a masterful storyteller who breathed life into characters that lingered in our hearts. Now, let's delve into some intriguing facets of Nina Falk's life and career, unraveling the threads of her remarkable journey in the world of entertainment. From her iconic performances to her behind-the-scenes influence, her story is a testament to the enduring magic of cinema and the indomitable spirit of a true artist. So, fasten your seatbelts, dear reader, as we embark on a journey through the annals of Nina Fox's legacy, exploring the layers of her remarkable life and the profound impact she left on the world of film. Get ready to be captivated by the charm and charisma of this cinematic luminary, for her tale is a testament to the enduring power of storytelling. Nina Falk, a prominent actress and educator in the world of cinema, had a remarkable career filled with interesting highlights. One notable achievement was her recognition by the Maryland State Council of the American Jewish Congress for her role in the Ten Commandments. She received a special award for her performance in this classic film. Additionally, Nina Falk, along with her husband James Lipton, forged a lasting friendship with the legendary Diana Ross after co-starring with her in Mahogany. This friendship added a unique dimension to her personal life beyond her acting career. Towards the end of her life, Falk dedicated herself to teaching at USC's School of Cinematic Arts, where she conducted the popular course directing the actor for an impressive 40 years. Sadly, her teaching career came to an abrupt end as she fell ill during one of her classes. She passed away a day later at the Ronald Reagan UCLA Medical Center due to complications arising from a long-term battle with myelodysplasia, a rare blood disorder. Nina Fox's life was marked by her outstanding contributions to the world of cinema, both as an actress and an educator. Her special award, her enduring friendship with Diana Ross, and her commitment to teaching at USC's School of Cinematic Arts are just a few of the facets that made her an unforgettable figure in Hollywood history. Nina Falk, an accomplished actress, had an only child, a son named Dr. Dirk DeBrito, who was born in 1960. He was the product of her second marriage to Dennis DeBrito. Furthermore, Nina Falk was a graduate of the American Academy of Dramatic Arts, class of 1942. This prestigious institution has produced many notable actors and actresses, and Nina Fox's training there contributed to her successful career in the entertainment industry. Lastly, during her acting career, Nina Fox was dubbed in films by various international actresses. Notable examples include Lydia Simonski in My Name is Julia Ross, Rita Morley in The Ten Commandments, and Giovanna Scotto in other projects. Nina Fox's life and career were marked by these facts, showcasing her family life her training, and her international appeal as an actress. She remains a significant figure in the history of American cinema. Cinema, 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 cinema. Nina Falk, known for her versatile acting career, left a mark in Hollywood with various roles. One notable fact about her is that in the movie The Ten Commandments, she played the adoptive mother of Charlton Heston, the aunt of Yul Brynner, and the sister of Cedric Hardwick. What's intriguing is that despite these familial roles, she was actually a year younger than Charlton Heston, four years younger than Yel Brenner, and a surprising 31 years younger than Cedric Hardwick. Additionally, Nina Falk was once the ex-daughter-in-law of Lawrence Lipton, adding a layer of connection within the entertainment industry. Lastly, for those curious about her last name, Falk rhymes with gosh, providing a phonetic insight into the pronunciation of her distinctive surname. Nina Fox's career and connections in Hollywood continue to be a subject of interest and fascination for film enthusiasts. 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 Nina Fox, a renowned actress of her time, left her mark on the world of entertainment with a few notable facts worth remembering. Firstly, on August 15, 2020, Turner Classic Movies paid tribute to her by dedicating a day to showcase her filmography during the summer under the stars event. 
This recognition highlighted her significant contributions to the film industry. Additionally, Nina Falk played a pivotal role in television history as the first murder victim investigated by the iconic TV detective, Lieutenant Columbo. This occurred in the pilot episode, TV movie titled Prescription, Murder in 1968. Her performance added a memorable twist to the popular detective series. Lastly, in Italy, many of Nina Fox's films were dubbed by the talented Rosetta Calabetta. This demonstrates her international appeal and the recognition of her work beyond English-speaking audiences. Nina Fox's career was indeed remarkable, leaving a lasting legacy in both film and television. Her talent and contributions continue to be celebrated by audiences worldwide. 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 Nina Falk, an actress known for her versatile roles, left a mark in Hollywood history. One notable collaboration was with Edward G. Robinson, sharing the screen in two films, Illegal and the Ten Commandments. Falk honed her acting skills at the Stella Adler Studio of Acting, solidifying her foundation in the craft. Her training laid the groundwork for her successful career in film and television. In The Ten Commandments, Fox striking blue eyes had to be transformed to brown to match her character. She wore contact lenses to achieve this on-screen illusion. Nina Fox's contributions to the world of entertainment and her memorable roles continue to be celebrated by fans and critics alike. Her talent and dedication to her craft are evident in her enduring filmography. Behind closed doors, the hidden horrors of child exploitation in Hollywood exposed Nina Falk, a celebrated actress of her time, was part of a Hollywood era filled with glamour and fame. However, behind the scenes, some of her fellow cast members faced harrowing experiences of child exploitation that have only recently come to light. In a chilling expose, we delve into the dark underbelly of Hollywood during Falk's heyday. Many child actors were subjected to horrifying abuse by those in positions of power. These vulnerable young stars were manipulated, coerced, and violated by abusers who exploited their dreams of stardom. The stories of these cast members, previously hidden in the shadows, are now being brought to the forefront. The courage to speak out against their tormentors has paved the way for a long overdue reckoning within the industry. While Nina Falk herself may not have been directly involved in these incidents, the revelations shed light on the pervasive culture of silence and complicity that allowed such abuses to persist. The trauma endured by her cast members serves as a stark reminder of the dark side of Hollywood's glittering facade. As these survivors share their accounts, we must confront the disturbing reality of child exploitation in the entertainment world. It is a painful chapter in Hollywood's history that can no longer be ignored. Nord, Nord, Nord. Silent victims, the tragic toll of McCarthyism and blacklisting on Nina Fox cast member in 1950s Hollywood in the shadows of 1950s Hollywood. Amidst the Red Scare and McCarthyism, many careers crumbled under the weight of suspicion. While Nina Fox herself managed to navigate these treacherous waters, one of her cast members faced a silent battle against the blacklist. Nina Falk, a prominent actress of her time, worked alongside numerous actors during her career. However, one particular cast member, whose identity remains concealed, bore the brunt of the era's political turmoil. The fear of association with alleged communist sympathizers led to a wave of blacklisting in Hollywood, effectively banishing those deemed subversive from the industry. The plight of this cast member, obscured by history's veil, highlights the devastating impact of McCarthyism. Their career plummeted, roles dried up, and opportunities vanished. The blacklist silenced them, leaving them in professional exile. Nina Falk, like many others, could do little to assist her colleague. The fear of being labeled a sympathizer herself loomed large. This era of suspicion forced many in Hollywood to grapple with difficult choice maintain their careers, or stand by their colleagues. For some, survival meant staying silent. The unspoken rifts and tensions among cast members during this tumultuous period remained hidden from public view. Many Hollywood elites privately disagreed with the witch hunt but dared not voice their dissent for fear of becoming targets themselves. In the end, the true cost of McCarthyism and the Hollywood blacklist was paid not just in ruined careers, but in shattered lives and silenced voices. The nameless cast member who suffered alongside Nina Fox serves as a symbol of the collateral damage inflicted by a dark chapter in American history. 
In retrospect, the industry's rush to judgment and the fear-driven silence that ensued are reminders of the fragile nature of fame and the lengths to which individuals will go to protect their livelihoods. The story of Nina Fox cast member, lost to history but not forgotten, stands as a poignant testament to the era's injustices. 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 As we bid adieu to this captivating journey through the life and artistry of Nina Fox, I invite you, dear reader, to take a moment and delve into the recesses of your own personal connection with this remarkable actress. Nina Fox's legacy is not just a series of performances, it's a tapestry of emotions, memories, and shared experiences that have touched hearts across generations. Perhaps you were spellbound by her commanding presence in classic films like An American in Paris, or Spartacus, where she effortlessly brought depth and authenticity to her characters. Or maybe it was her distinctive voice, resonating with wisdom and grace, that left an indelible mark on your cinematic memories. Whether she graced the stage or the silver screen, Nina Fock had an unparalleled ability to breathe life into every role she undertook. Now, it's your turn to reflect. What is your fondest memory of a Nina Fock performance? Was it a particular scene that moved you, a character that stayed with you, or an entire movie that transported you to another world? Share your thoughts, your cherished moments, and your personal connection with Nina Fox's artistry. Let your voice join the chorus of admiration for this legendary performer. In celebrating Nina Fock, we celebrate the enduring power of storytelling and the ability of artists to touch our souls. Her contribution to the world of entertainment is a gift that keeps on giving, an inspiration for generations to come. Thank you for taking this moment to reflect on Nina Fock's remarkable career and for sharing your own treasured memories. Your appreciation is a testament to the enduring impact of her work on the world of entertainment. With heartfelt gratitude and a nod to the magic of cinema, we bid you farewell from this exploration of Nina Fox's legacy. Until we meet again, continue to cherish the art that moves you, for it is a testament to the enduring power of human creativity. Tivity, tivity, tivity.